Hey, Dave Fanning here with the Body From Personal Training Fitness Boot Camps. Three uncomfortable truths about weight loss and getting into shape. I try to stay positive about weight loss and getting into shape as much as possible. It's hard enough as it is. But there's certain things that I've discovered over the years working with thousands of clients that you probably don't know. The basics, and they're uncomfortable, and they are truths, and they have to be known the more you know the better prepared you can be when you start running up against resistance when you're looking to get into shape. And I'm gonna share those uncomfortable truths with you today, and unfortunately they can't be avoided. They're things that can actually derail you and get in your way of getting where you wanna be. So, the uncomfortable truths. Number one, there are two qualities that my successful clients have over the years that I've seen. We drill this thing down to its essentials. Number one, they show up. You got to show up. The fact is, is that when I have clients or prospects that have purchased our program or they're joining as a client and there's some downtime and they'll, they'll ask me, they'll say, Hey, you know, what's, what's the one thing that you see makes the biggest difference between those people that are successful in your program and those that aren't. And it's very simple. It's those people that show up consistently and keep showing up regardless of whatever is going on in their lives, they become successful. And literally showing up consistently will solve 90% of your exercise and eating challenges that you're going to encounter when you're looking to make some changes to your behavior. It's the consistency. It doesn't really matter what you're doing, you know, over time, whether you're doing yoga or lifting weights or running or, you know, spin or water aerobics, it doesn't matter. But consistently showing up and reinforcing that showing up habit is what gets people to their results. And you show up long enough and then it becomes automatic. And it's always harder in the beginning. All things are hard in the beginning. But that is the number one quality of those people that have been successful getting into shape and then staying in shape the rest of their lives is showing up. And it literally solves almost all your problems. Number two in Number one is they never give up. Part of the showing up is overcoming resistance and problems and things that will get in your way. Because this is life. Life is going to get in the way. I'm, I'm always working with people that are like looking for the perfect time. They're looking for this stretch of six months and nothing ever happens. And that's just not realistic as an adult. You're going to have injuries. You work around them. You're going to have business travel. You work out through the business travel. You're going to have the holidays. You do your best through the holidays. You're going to have children that get sick. You reschedule, you come in, or you get a sitter. Your car is going to break down. You still get to the gym or you work out at home. It's about never giving up. And it goes hand in hand. By not giving up, you just keep showing up. That's the key. Those are the two qualities that the most successful people have had over the years. Everything else is kind of a wild card. How they eat, what they do to work out, those things. Number one is showing up. Number two is never giving up, no matter what's going on. Number two, those things that are uncomfortable. Hard dieting versus exercise. Um, when you're looking at fast results, if you're looking to lose 20 pounds in six weeks, if you're looking to lose 30 pounds in six months, the path to fast results isn't exercise frequency. It's hard dieting. That's uncomfortable. I tend to coach and support healthy, sustainable, long-term eating of whole foods that can support your physical activity. You feel better, your body functions better, all kinds of benefits. Because I'm looking at the long game when I'm working with coaches or I'm, when I'm working with clients. But if you're looking and you desire fast, 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 see it in the mirror that just fast results, it's going to come down to hard dieting, calorie restriction, and it's not sustainable. You have to wrap your head around that. And the latest research that shows, and they used all the biggest loser contestants since the first season is what they've seen. And we kind of knew this, but it, the research backs it up is that the nutrition gets the weight off. The exercise keeps it off. And that's what you have to wrap your head around. If you want fast, fast results, for fat loss, you have to go into hard calorie deficit dieting. And it's not pretty. And it's very hard to sustain. And you do kind of have to have that perfect conditions. 
It's harder when you're traveling in business. That's why I like to do the healthy eating, sustainable. It has to be simple, effective, and sustainable when I do meal plans with clients, unless they're asking specifically like for a wedding or for an event that we know that there's a deadline. And then we transition to something that's healthy and supportive because I'm not really down with the short-term dieting. I don't think it's a good idea and it's hard on the body. So when it comes to fast results, you just can't outrun a jelly donut. You have to wrap your head around that. You can't out exercise your diet. And I see people try it all the time. So just know that if you're looking at fast in the mirror results within four to six weeks, but you can not depend on, you can't do it and then just switch back to the way you used to eat. It's hard dieting. It's not the exercise frequency or what you're doing in the gym. The gym, the exercise helps keep your eating consistent. Three, if you keep doing what you're doing, you will keep getting what you're getting. And a very small group of people make it past me into our program sometimes without making that switch mentally that just by investing, they're not going to get the results. They actually have to change what they're doing. And sometimes it takes a process. I mean, it's, it takes time to change your eating. It takes time to start showing up consistently to where it becomes kind of automatic and you're starting to see results and you don't, it's not that big of a deal. It's just part of your day. So the thing is, if you're always saying to yourself, Monday, I'm going to start and Monday passes by over and over. And it's a Wednesday. You just got to start today. You got to pick up the phone. I need some help. You got to join the boot camp. You've got to hire a coach. You've got to show up at the gym. You got to swim a lap or walk around the block. It doesn't matter what you do, but you have to take action to cut, to stop doing what you're doing. And if you find yourself in the gym, and you purchase a gym membership, it's 30 bucks a month, and you're walking on the treadmill, and then you're wandering around the gym for 20 or 30 minutes in the weight room, and you don't know what to do, you're gonna have to do something different because you're not gonna be able to stay motivated when you're not seeing results. Therefore, you have to hire a coach. You have to join a group program. You have to reach out and get some support and help to get you where you wanna be. If you're not eating right, and you know you just are not a big cook, you can try snack kitchen. You can try simply fit meals. You can try because whatever you're doing, you can't just keep doing more of that when you're not seeing results. You've got to try something different. And yes, it's uncomfortable, but you get better at it. You get better at it, at making small tweaks and then moving forward. And just like I was talking about the other day in, in another video was you're going to make mistakes and it's part of it. It's just like driving a car. You're making small adjustments as you're moving forward. Don't be afraid to make mistakes because that's how you make progress. And that's how we get results over time is we work with enough people that we know what not to do. And we can kind of keep you right down the middle. There's still some adjustments, but we don't let you go off and make the big mistakes that most people will make. So those are the three uncomfortable truths about weight loss and getting in shape. Like I said, I try to keep it positive, but I also want you to be successful. Two qualities all successful people have, they show up. That's number one, baby. You got to show up. All kinds of good things happen and they never give up. They overcome those, that resistance, those obstacles that travel and people in their lives that may not support them too. It's not the exercise frequency. It's a hard dieting that gets fast fat loss results. I don't recommend hard short-term dieting. I recommend high, high quality food over time, but you have to make your own choices about what you want to accomplish and when. And if you keep doing what you're doing, You'll keep getting what you're getting. So you got to do something different. It's a little uncomfortable in the beginning, but we can support you and get you where you want to be. And that's the real deal. And if you're looking to get some results, you can opt in for a consult, speak with me, get a success session, no obligation, no pressure. Just find out what you're looking to accomplish and how we may be able to help you. And if you like this video, like it, share it, comment below. And I'm Dave Fan with the Body Form Personal Training, Fitness Boot Camps. Talk to you guys later.